My name is Max Moline. I play the marimba. I'm from Excelsior, Minnesota, and I'm 18 years old. I'm playing the first and second movement of Ney Rosaro's Concerto for Marimba. Well, I remember doing early childhood music with my parents, doing uh, those big group lesson things. Um, so that was my first musical experience, but I'd say it really dawned on me once I started playing percussion. I'd played piano up until that point, and then in fourth grade I uh, started playing percussion, and then all just took off from there, and marimba's really become kind of my primary instrument, and I just love studying it. I'm not planning on majoring in music in college, but I still want to be really active in orchestra, percussion ensembles, and things like that, and I don't see myself stopping for any reason anytime soon. Mallet selection is really, really important to getting the sound you want, and I mean, most percussionists have a lot of mallets. I've got a huge bag full of them, probably over 50 mallets, I'd say. So, so it makes it easy to get that sound that I really want for each movement. And oftentimes, performers will be changing mallets in the middle of movements, too. I chose this piece because it's really, it's just one of my favorite marimba concertos. It's one of the most popular ones ever performed. It's seen huge fame and success in the world of percussion. And it's written really well for the marimba. It just plays so easily and sounds great for the timbre of the instrument. It's got all sorts of different contrasts. You have the slow and serene second movement, and then mallets are flying all over the place in the first. So it really covers a wide range of what the instrument can do. When you're listening to the second movement, imagine a story to it. That's what I do when I'm playing it. And it's going to mean something different to everyone, but I have my own story when I play it, so try to think of something to go along with it. I chose to play the movements in reverse order, so I'm playing the second movement and then the first movement. I did this just because the second one really it just comes out of nowhere, and I wanted it to be that way. And the first movement, even though it starts off um, as a bang for the full concerto, I wanted to also end it with a bang. Mm -hmm. 